Hi, we're going to do a little painting today and we're going to be using um, tints and shades of a color to paint this really long piece of paper. This is the paper I showed you in class. I've already used a bit of it, but you can see how I'm going from a light blue all the way down to a dark blue or a tint of blue all the way down to a shade. So for the demonstration, I'm going to be using magenta this time. And you can see I have white, magenta, and black. When you get your paper, of course, you're going to want to put your name on it and then flip it over so you're painting on the blank side. My paper's kind of long for my video, so I'm just going to be moving it down a bit so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to start up at the top with a tint of magenta. So to do this, I want to show you the paintbrush I'm using too. I'm using a uh, flat brush here so I can cover more area. So I'm going to just start with some magenta and I'm pulling my paper down so you can see it. And I'm going to go from one end to the other and I'm going to have to go back to that color a few times. And I'm going to have the table paper on your table, so don't be afraid to go off the edges. So you want to make sure you get the whole paper. I'm just going back and forth. Now this has to be a tint, so I'm going to rinse my brush, take some white, maybe a little bit more white than that, and I'm going to mix this in. So I'm making a lighter value of magenta. And I might have to take some more to really lighten it up. There, now it's looking the way I want it. And I'm going to go down on my paper. Now here, I'm going to pick up a little bit more magenta. Now it looks like there's it's a really hard contrast there, so I want to make that a little bit lighter. So I'm blending it into that white to soften that line so it doesn't look like a hard edge. And you can see now we're starting to see just the regular magenta color. Back and forth. Now, closer I get down towards the bottom, I'm going to have to start thinking about transitioning to the shade of magenta. And remember that the color black is pretty strong, so I don't need a lot of it. So I'm going to start with my magenta. I'm going to take a touch of black, and when I say a touch of black, just a little bit. And you can see how that works here. Black is a pretty strong color. And again, just like I did with the white, I want to blend it so it's not a hard line of the shade of magenta. Oops, let me move this up a bit so you can see what I'm doing going back to the magenta when I need it. And then it's going to be the darkest value down towards the bottom. Now remember you don't want it to look like black paint. You're going to make it look like a really dark magenta. There for you so you can see. All right. It almost looks like a purple when I'm using this. Now I think I did a pretty good job except my paper stuck to it at the top and that's what you're going to be working on. So you're going to have, maybe I'll go back here, you can always play around with this a little bit more to, to fix it up. But this is what you're going to be working on.
Okay, I could stay here all day and paint these. All right, now it's your turn. Whoops. Now it's your turn to give it a try. Here's what it looks like. <laughs> 